Now before I go ahead and show you the web UI, I want to go ahead and finish off the CLI. So let's say that while I put these up for review, one of you gave me a great review, which is, hey Tomas, you're actually running the server on the wrong port. Can you go ahead and fix that? For those of you who have worked with stacking before, perhaps in vanilla Git, you've been, this is the point that becomes very painful because incorporating a change into a branch that other branches depend on can be difficult. In Graphite, this is super duper simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, is I'm gonna go ahead and check out that branch. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out the server branch. I'm gonna go ahead and edit the file I need to, in this case, server. So I go ahead, I go to server.js, I find that, yep, I'm running it on port 3000. I meant to be running it on port 8000, my mistake. I go ahead and save that. I now go ahead and run git status and realize that I've modified the server and I need to modify this branch in the stack. In Graphite, I just go ahead and run gt modify. gt modify will, like create, ask me if I wanna commit all of my changes. And then I'll go ahead and modify the branch, in this case, doing a commit amend, although I can do a commit create by passing dash dash commit. And it will go ahead and restack um, or rebase all subsequent branches onto this one. So if I were to run gt log short one more time, you'd see that my stack of four is still a stack of four because of these restack commands, where Graphite automatically detected, hey, these branches belong on this other branch which has moved or which has incorporated new changes into it. Let me go ahead and apply these changes to any dependent branches. If Graphite were to find rebase conflicts between these branches, it would go ahead and drop me right into the git conflict resolution editor where I could go ahead and resolve the changes. And then rather than doing git rebase dash dash continue, I just do gt continue and it would continue all the restacking for me. To go ahead and submit the updated stack online, I simply do gt submit dash dash stack, which goes ahead and normally submit submits everything at that branch and below. Dash dash stack says, just submit the full thing for me. It goes ahead and detects what's changed. In this case, servers changed because I've literally updated the code. Front end analytics have changed because we've incorporated those changes from server. And it goes ahead and pushes those changes right up online for us. That's it. Now let's go online to see what those look like.